Now we examine session two, distance on numerical data, Minkowski distance. So we first introduce data matrix and dissimilarity matrix or distance matrix. Data matrix is represented in the typical matrix form is we have n data points, we use n rows. We have L dimensions, we use L columns to represent this data set. The distance matrix or dissimilarity matrix usually is represented in triangular matrix because you have n data points. We register only the distance between like objects one versus one or two versus one to look at their distance. Okay. But the distance function usually could be quite different for different kinds of variables like a real, Boolean, categorical, ordinal ratio and vector variables, their distance definition could be different. Moreover, sometimes they may have weights associated with those uh, different variables based on the applications and data semantics. We are going to introduce this more later. Then we look at an example. Suppose we have four points, four objects in two-dimensional space. Then the data matrix is represented in this typical form. Okay. Then for dissimilarity matrix or distance matrix, for Euclidean distance, you probably can see the matrix is in this way. Like x1, x1, they are identical, their distance is zero. x2, x1, their computation is based on the distance. This part is two, this distance is three, you take sum of the square, you take square root, you get this value. Then in general, we define the Minkowski distance as this formula. That means if we have error dimensions for object i and object j, then their distance is defined by taking every dimension to look at their absolute value of their distance, then to the power of p, then you sum them up, get the root of p. Then we get the Minkowski distance. Such distance, the p is the order. We usually also call this distance as LP norm. The Minkowski distance in general they have these properties. The first property is called positivity. It means the distance must be zero when they are identical, otherwise they are greater than zero. Okay. The second property called symmetry means uh, the distance between i and j, distance between j and i should be identical. Then the third one called triangular inequality means for the distance between i and j. If you go through k, that means you go uh, first to k, then from k to j, that distance should be no less than directly go from i to j. Or it should be, uh, you know, greater than or equal to directly go to i to j. Okay. The distance measure that satisfy these three properties called metric distance. Notice not all the uh, distance are metric. For example, set distance is not metric. Of course, in this lecture, we mainly discuss metric distance. Then look, we look at some special cases of Minkowski distance. If p equals 1, we call L1 norm. They also call Manhattan or city block distance, define this formula. Uh, in particular, if we are dealing with binary vectors, we call these as a Hamming distance. Is the number of bits, they are different. Okay. Then if p equals 2 is defined, also called L2 norm, is Euclidean distance defined in the typical way like this. Okay. This is a very familiar one, uh, I think, uh, for all the people. Okay. Then if p goes to infinity means we are dealing with L infinity norm or L max norm, this is also called superman distance. Is defined uh, is a limit uh, for p goes to infinity. Okay. In that case, 
actually the distance is really the maximum difference between any attribute of the vectors. For example, you can see for f from 1 to l, the maximum such uh, absolute value of the distance is the distance uh, of l infinity norm or superman distance. Let's look at some examples. For the same data sets, like uh, we get four points, we get two dimensions. Then we look at the Manhattan distance is just based on this is city block distance, for example, from uh, x2 to x1. You will go uh, three blocks down, then two blocks left. So the Manhattan distance is three plus two, you get five. Okay. Of course, x1 to x1 itself is zero. And Euclidean distance, as we discussed already, that's the me measure. For Superman distance, error infinity norm, you probably can see uh, x2 to x1. So probably you can see the difference is you first go down three blocks uh, for Manhattan distance, you can see you get a three plus two. But for Superman distance, you just see which attribute to get a maximum distance or maximum difference. So you probably can see the maximum one is three instead of two. That's why x2 to x1 is three. So it's pretty easy to compute. Thank you.